there was a letter written and it came from a society in which one of our council members engaged and that's a problem. This type of political interference over an art project has no place and will have no success here. We do not get involved in these processes because it leads to bias, it leads to conflicts, it leads to all sorts of situations which we must avoid at all costs. It's very dangerous for any member of council to try and enter into a process that staff is engaged in in selecting these kinds of awards. I have no desire to continue giving oxygen to this conversation about a valuable member of our First Nations community. When Council was asked to receive this letter, it was immediately rejected with no discussion. This type of political interference over an art project has no place and will have no success here. Mr. Gabriel followed all the rules outlined in the RFE process, he, as did the staff. In fact, Council isn't and should not be part of these discussions and these decisions about who gets awarded projects like this so it doesn't become political. Mr. Gabriel was awarded the opportunity to have his art displayed on hydro boxes in Fort Langley and I myself and myself and the community are looking forward to seeing them. I hope Mr. Gabriel and his family will feel the support of this council and community and I wish him success, much success in the future. I think it's fraught with danger and that we are then uh, influencing uh, against a policy uh, and becomes, as we've heard a few times tonight, political, where I have a friend who's a great artist and I want my friend to be there, or I have somebody I don't want to be there, and it becomes, it becomes um, political. And, we, and, and as a council, we've made these decisions to ensure that the politics are taken out of it. We are a governing body. We do not get involved in these processes because it leads to bias, it leads to conflicts, it leads to all sorts of situations which we must avoid at all costs because we cannot be seen to be doing that. It may be the case that I personally don't approve of that, but that is not my job to make that call. It is not my job to try and undo something that has gone through a totally vetted process that's appropriate, that's transparent, that everybody can understand, and frankly, a decision has already been made. We decided that it wasn't an appropriate letter, and we disregarded it because it was not appropriate. This is about supporting our community, and it's about people in our community being supported. I trust that the process has been followed. And in fact, staff issued a statement saying that it had been followed to the T, uh, an award been given. I'm delighted at the, re at the results of that award, and I don't feel that we should be moving any further down this road of trying to undo something that staff have already done, process that had already been completed, and a result that I feel is quite appropriate. Some people get really good at kind of uh, being able to roll a rock off a mountain. And uh, when it goes down, it causes a lot of problems. 